Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition just started receiving the One UI 5 update. I updated my phone yesterday and I would like to tell you guys about all the new features and whether or not this update has improved the phone. While I do so, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you find this video good enough at some point. Okay, so this is the update change log appearing on the screen. This is a big update, brings plenty of new features. Before I talk about this long list of features, let me show you some animations. The phone is smoother than before. There is a good impact on the performance. It's fast and I haven't really noticed any bugs since I updated my phone. The animations are much more fluid than before. There are new transitions that improve the overall usability experience of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Some users talked about the screenshots folder acting up while sending images via WhatsApp, but it turns out WhatsApp's media permissions were revoked after the update. If you are facing something similar, you have to give media access to WhatsApp once again. In case you are in India and unable to record calls, keep in mind that call recording only works for the VOLTE calls, it doesn't work for VO Wi-Fi calls. You have to switch off the Wi-Fi calls to be able to record the calls again in case if it's turned off after the One UF 5 update. Now I can't comment on the battery life right now since it hasn't been long enough since I updated my phone but I can tell you guys that the Android 13 One UF 5 has improved the battery life of devices like Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra as I shared my experience of the S22 Ultra just a day before. So the S21 Fan Edition should see a battery improvement too. I did see some users talking about the improved battery life on the S21 Fan Edition after this update. Do tell me how's the battery life on your phone now. Also the phone is not heating up like it did before this update. Despite the phone being updated to the Android 13, you can't run apps like Camera Assistant and Expert Draw. The Expert Draw in my opinion depends more on the hardware but the phone should run the Camera Assistant at least. Let's hope Samsung enables these apps for S21 Fan Edition someday. With the One UI 5, the S21 Fan Edition has become fast, smooth and the new features that I am going to talk about will level up the experience. Let's start with the visual changes first. One UFI brings new app icons and illustrations. The backgrounds for some apps have been changed. There are new animations like I said before and transition effects that I just talked about. The background blur effect on the quick panel has improved with brighter colors now. Color scheme for some apps has been changed to improve the uh, visuals of the apps. Lock screen customization has finally made it to the Samsung phones. You can customize the clock, widgets, almost everything on the lock screen now. You can find more color palette options in the wallpaper section. Wallpaper selection panel has improved with new choices. Now you can set a different call background for each contact. This allows you to quickly identify the caller given that you have set a particular background for that caller. You can now stack widgets of the same size over each other on the home screen. This helps you save a lot of space on the home screen. There is a new widget called Suggestions. It suggests you the actions and apps based on your usage. Multitasking has improved a lot. There are new ways to launch multi windows while you are using navigation gestures on the phone. The swipe upward with two fingers to launch multi window is a gesture that has come from the Fold series to the smartphones. You can switch from full screen to pop up view by swiping inwards. You can also launch an app in the split screen by dragging from the recent to the side of the screen. Samsung routines have existed on Samsung phones for quite a while but in the One UI 5, Samsung has highlighted the Pixby routines and modes by putting them right on the top inside the settings application. 
You can create custom routines to automate tasks on your phone or to perform certain actions at a certain time. The routines work with the help of if and then scenarios. You can manipulate the functions on your phone to provide you with a better experience. With the routines, we get modes too. There are five modes including sleep, driving, work and more. You can also create a custom mode of your own liking. In the settings, you will find a new menu called Connected Devices. All of the devices connected through QuickShare, SmartView, Samsung DeX and Bluetooth will appear under this one aggregated menu now. You can hide notifications on the TV now and play sound from your phone on a Chromecast device. Let's talk about the camera and the gallery now. On that note, if you are liking this video so far, make sure to subscribe and help me reach 100k subscribers and hit the like button. Okay, the zoom bar has been condensed and this makes it easy to zoom in and out with one hand. The pro mode now displays a help icon to help you understand all settings in the pro photo and the video modes. A histogram now appears in the pro mode to give you a better idea of the brightness of the photo. The telephoto lens now supports food mode as well if you are into food photography. Single take feature has been revamped. Samsung has cut down on some confusing features and options to make it simpler. Samsung has also streamlined the filters in the camera app to make them more accessible. The much awaited watermarks feature is finally here. You can add watermark from the camera settings. You can customize the watermark to change the name, date and even the fonts. The gallery app now shows you the relevant or the most used albums on the front to keep the app clutter free. You can also choose which albums you want to view and which you don't. Furthermore, you can easily merge two or more folders of the same name. Stories in the gallery app have been improved. You can now create stickers out of any photo in the photo editor. GIF editing options have been improved too. The portrait mode effects do not go away after editing a photo now, even if you have cropped or resized the image. This is a really nice feature as you can change the background blur at any given time. Users can also use the pen tool to draw shapes on pictures and videos now. There are some new preloaded emoji stickers for both photos and videos. The text OCR feature is there too now. You can extract text from any image by simply long pressing the text and copying it just like you would copy it from a text paragraph. This is one of the coolest features for sure. Furthermore, when uh, the text appears in an image or on the camera, the phone pops up the relevant suggestions such as dialing a number or accessing a website and so on. Samsung has also added new AR emojis and stickers. The keyboard also gets some new emojis for the emoji pairs. You can rearrange the expressions button in the keyboard app now. Furthermore, you can enter a cow emoji directly from the Samsung keyboard. The spacebar row in the Samsung keyboard can be customized. You can choose which function keys and punctuation marks you would like to see there. Samsung has added a search button in the taskbar of Samsung DeX, making it easy to navigate when you are using your phone as a laptop. DeX also gets a not new notification indicator and a mini calendar. The settings app now allows you to set a different language for each app. Sound and vibration settings have been improved. You can now fully turn off the RAM Plus. Oddly, turning off the RAM Plus feature makes the phone smoother and faster. The RAM Plus is supposed to provide extra RAM otherwise, but it doesn't work as intended. The auto optimization feature has been improved and it will keep running your phone smoothly now. A new maintenance mode is available in the settings. This mode reboots your phone into a mode without all of your apps and data. If you want to give your phone for a repair while keeping your data secure, you can put your phone in the maintenance mode instead. Maintenance mode is switched on and off from the settings only. Settings also get a new security dashboard showing you all the necessary info at a glance. The share panel now tells you when you are sharing a photo or document with sensitive information like ID numbers, credit cards, passports, etc. The Samsung browser also shows you the security status of a website that you are trying to access. The accessibility features have been enhanced too. You will now find new accessibility toggles in the toggle section. These include the high contrast fonts, color, inversion and more. 
magnifier is now easier to access there is more spoken assistance you can edit the accessibility button and there are new actions for the corner actions the one ui5 also allows you to use several timers on the phone at once you have more control over the calendar event invitees now add video conferences to the events stickers to the google calendar and more a lot of new options for the reminders are now available you can drag and drop bookmarks between folders now the search of my files has been improved digital wellbeing gets a new design emergency panel has a help menu and a new integrated emergency contact list can be created the edge panel can now show you the names of apps beneath the app icon and that my friends is all with the long list of features on the Samsung One UI 5 Android 13 S21 FE is a complete new device after this update update your phone right away and check out all these features and improve the user experience at the same time if you are already using Android 13 on your Samsung Galaxy S21 fan edition do share your experience in the comments below which is your favorite feature in this update and which feature you don't quite like hit the subscribe and like button with that being said i will sign off and see you all in the next one